Hi, my name is Sue Fletcher Watson and I'm recording this video abstract for the journal Autism. Uh, this is describing my recently published paper called A Trial of an iPad Intervention Targeting Social Communication Skills in Children with Autism. So the purpose of this study was to try and explore whether a specially designed iPad app could teach specific social skills to preschoolers with autism. And we tested it very rigorously using something called a randomised controlled trial where we took two groups of children with autism and one group got iPads to take home loaded up with the Find Me app and the other group had no special supports at all. We measured the possible benefits of the app in two different ways. We had children uh, play for about 10 minutes with their parents and we videoed this play and then we kind of coded it looking for specific kinds of social interactive behaviours which were the same kinds of behaviours that the app was, was trying to teach. And then we also did some parent questionnaires because we thought that perhaps there might be sort of subtle changes that parents would detect that we wouldn't be able to see um, in the lab when, when families came in for the study. So what we found was that the app didn't have therapeutic benefits um, on either of these two kinds of measures. In other words, the group who took the Find Me app home for a couple of months, they didn't sort of improve to a greater extent than the, uh, than the other group, the control group. So that was a bit disappointing. Um, but actually, we think that there's a lot that's positive to be learned from this study. So one thing was that the app was very popular. The children really enjoyed playing it. They played it for quite a long time, but not a worryingly long time. Um, they got better at playing the game. And parents enjoyed it too. They found that having an iPad at home provided them with some sort of flexibility and some options that they otherwise wouldn't have had iPads are also very cost effective when you compare them against the expense associated with a kind of skilled therapist coming into the home. So this makes us feel that pursuing the possibility of um, apps to provide learning and support opportunities for preschoolers with autism is still really worth doing. But we just need to think a bit more creatively about the best way to do that. So one of the things we want to look at is the possibility of designing specific apps to provide sort of homework opportunities for kids in between visits from a therapist, maybe like a speech and language therapist. So that's what we hope to be doing next. We're trying to seek funding for that sort of work at the moment. If you're interested uh, in this project, then please do read the paper. And you can also have a look at more information on my website, which is dart.ed.ac. UK. Thanks very much.